Hey guys, it's Nick. The Blackhawks are taking on the Nashville Predators tonight, so it's preview time for the Predators-Hawks game in Nashville at 7 o'clock. I, ex I honestly ex hope, in my opinion, we need to display Cam Ward tonight because Corey Crawford has had a rough patch, and if he plays tonight in Nashville, his numbers aren't the best. I don't want to go have him in net where he's having a confidence issue because of K Jeremy Colleton being an idiot as a head coach. I'm sorry, I have to say it because he is. Um, this defense is going to ho hopefully have Henry Yokiharu back on the blue line, but it's hard to tell if he is. He's been sick the last two games now. Hopefully he's healthy enough to play. Our point leaders for the game is Patrick Kane with 29 points and Jonathan Taze with 21 points. Nashville's point leaders, Philip Forsberg with 22 and um, Ryan Johansson with um, 20, um, one points. So the Hawks have two point leaders that are, well, Kane's already probably going to hit the 30 point mark this season, uh, probably tonight, in my opinion. I expect us to have some line changes, maybe to help the defense, where we have a better defensive format. But knowing Jeremy Colleton, that's probably not going to happen. This game being a rivalry game, I expect the Hawks to be coming in ticked off because they have not been playing well the, in their last few games. Colleton's been, uh, in his previous interview with the media after the Winnipeg Jets game, I have to admit, was stupid. He is still new. He is not, he has not been here long enough. He's literally too new of a head coach that looks like he doesn't know what he's doing. I, I really disagree with the front office right now and thinking we are a playoff contender when this roster is clearly in rebuild phase. Stam and I'm honestly have to say it right now. If Cam Ward's on net tonight, we probably lost because Corey Crawford has had a, been rough in net the past few, past five games, I'm going to say. Just about five to four games. Because in the last two, he's allowed 12 goals in net. That's not good. Corey Crawford being our best goalie, though, it won't surprise me that he's in net, but... Honestly, I think we need Cam Ward in net because he's played better this year when, and we tend to win with Ward in net, which I feel bad for Crow because Ward has been winning games and Crow's been let down by the defense quite a bit. Being that this game's in Nashville, I hope the Hawks can pull out a um, victory, even though Nashville is a tough building to play in with all those bandwagon fans. I know I'm calling them bandwagons when it is true. They are. I, it's, in my opinion, Hawks fans are, probably will still end up showing up to the game because Hawks fans travel. Nashville in that ugly yellow, hopefully does not get a win. I'm sorry, I don't, I hate Nashville. <laughs> so my pick to click probably tonight for the game will most likely, I'm going with, I'm going to go with um one normal man, uh, guys. I'm going with Jonathan Taze. I feel like Jonathan Taze is going to have a great game point production wise hopefully that comes out to be true 
because Chase has been um more streaky this season. To start off, he was red hot. He went on to like a 11 game break where he was not that solid, but he's been solid again. So that's why I'm going with Jonathan Tace. So leave your pick to click down in the comments below who you have having a big game tonight. Thank you for watching the broadcast. This is Nick, and I hope you enjoyed. But most of all, let's go Hawks and screw the Preds.